Feed me. Welcome to another Feed Me More Nutrition Live. I am the big guy Ryback doing a big weekend sale here for you guys. We're going to get to some questions, some answers, talk health and fitness, supplements, nutrition, whatever questions you have in regards into that realm right there. But first things first, we're going to get into it. I'm going to give you the details on this sale. I'm going to put it into the description. It will be in the comments after the video. And then the rest of the time we'll spend uh, talking to you guys and, and seeing what is out there? What's this big sale we're doing? I had a lot of requests for people with the gym bags. They love the Feed Me More Nutrition gym bags. So we got these in stock now. These are full gym bags here, guys. Very high quality. So what we're going to do is not just a free gym bag. I'm going to give you a free gym bag. I'm also going to give you a free, your choice of color on the website, Feed Me More Nutrition workout towel white or yellow on there. The Feed Me More Nutrition microfiber workout towels. I'm also going to give you a free Feed Me More Nutrition shaker bottle, right? And there's the option, if you select it, to check it out for free, the Feed Me More Nutrition face mask. All of this, guys, is a $75 value. All you have to do to get this for free is spend $75 or more on feedmemore.com prior to shipping. So have $75 in your cart prior to shipping. Add the, the go to weight belts and accessories on the sections on the, on the shop, weight belts and accessories. Click, we have a gym bag, shaker bottle, workout towel uh, bundle. Click on that, select your color towel, add it to your cart. On checking out, use discount code free bundle. Free, F-R-E-E bundle, B-U-N-D-L-E, B-U-N-D-L-E, free bundle, stupid, discount code, free bundle at checkout. Spit it out, Junior. It's in the description. It's going to be in the comments after the video. That's all you got to do. This is going to be going on all weekend until Sunday, midnight Pacific. Guys, giving you $75 of free goods here, Feed Me More Nutrition stuff as a thank you for your orders on the best supplements on the planet. Let's get into some Q&A. Man of Steel, good to see you, my man. Ricky Scurvy, you saw the new Reuben sandwich. Oh, that was a that 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 sandwich was really good. I uh, I found some new places here uh, on uh, off of Spring Mountain in Vegas. There's going to be some really cool videos coming up, but uh, I got uh, I got I got a couple in the bank here for next week. Thank you very much. You guys are very kind to call me a legend. I don't know what a, what a legend entails, but I just live my best life. Evan, we don't ask those kinds of questions around here. Somebody smarten Evan up. Somebody smarten Evan up before I get, get block happy tonight. I'm in a good mood today, guys. Today's been a great day. Don't fuck this up for me. Chris Yao, good to see you, my man. Some familiar faces as always. Yeet feet. I remember that name. Yeet yeet. Just got done doing a, a big, huge back workout, freaking jacked. I'm feeling good. I did a, had a really hard conditioning session, Ricky Scurvy approved, and uh, making my performance meals. So I got about 40 minutes-ish tonight on this. Yeah, Ricky Scurvy, maybe we'll – Ricky's, Ricky's go-to is the penalty box as my moderator. He's my main moderator, my only moderator on YouTube and and – and uh, Twitch, which I appreciate. Ricky is always available whenever I hop on here, which is always usually at the same time. So we'll see how it goes, Ricky. We'll see how it goes. I felt like we've set a good tone, though. People, I feel like it's starting off pretty solid. Chuck, good to see you. My uh, scar tissue is doing well. 
I broke up quite a bit earlier. I got to do a whole other round here tonight. And uh, I don't know. I may, I may, I may order a little red wine. I've gone, I think like almost two weeks. I go, I take breaks. I do a little red wine. I take a break. So I don't know. Maybe I'll knock out a, a whining with the Ryback. I've been wanting to do that. I'm, my training, I'm feeling good though. Thank you very much though for asking. It, it's a process. The, the, the stem cells I got, it's been um, a few weeks since I got them. It's going to really, really kick in around the month two and three. That two and three month mark is where I'm going to notice rapid improvements. I, even though I, I feel great, I'm just trying to get my shoulder to, like, I I could fuck some people up right now. Like, I'm pretty, pretty confident. I need to, I need, I just, for me, it feels good to be healthy again. I don't, I just, I've come this far. It's just the kind of, you know. We're just, uh, they got to put in some work, get the body training. I'm a little sore this week after a month off, but we're, we're rocking and rolling, man. Man, it's still, those videos don't even do it justice. I, uh, one of my lady friends, uh, she didn't, couldn't comprehend what I was talking about. And I just had her just watch me do a session and she just sat with her jaw open in amazement. And she goes, how is that a thing? I go, I, I've never, nobody knows that I've worked with. I don't know how this, it's like my shoulder was frozen in scar tissue. And I'm like unlocking everything and it's all coming back. So I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physiotherapist, but I'm stubborn as hell. And I finally found a way to, to fix my problems with a softball. Good to see you guys. Hello, hello. Keep an eye on WWE fan, Ricky Scurvy. The, the name is already setting off a few red flags. Jeff, good question here. Let's get to your questions. This isn't all about me. This is about you guys. Got any tips for a strong, solid core? Abs are okay, but I feel like I'm missing something. I would add in Zercher squats, which is, look, type it in, Z-U-R-C-H-E-R, uh, and, and throw those in on a leg day and just throw in a few sets. Those are going to, those are going to strengthen your core, um, on a whole other level. And you don't got to go crazy on the weight. I've trained with Nick Best and he had me doing some ridiculous weight that I wasn't even ready for. And I was doing, it will, it will suck the wind out of you. If you, you start small and work your way up, uh, on that hip thrust, weighted hip thrust, another great way, strong glutes equals a strong back. It's a must. It's, it's a must for anybody wanting to strengthen their core, and it will fix the flat asses of America of many men. Uh, three, planks. Forward planks, like regular basic planks, side planks. I don't think you got to go too much crazier than that. You know, I see the people at the gym that are throwing the leg touches in, doing them, and, do, you know, doing a little bit of acrobatics in them with it. Fantastic if that floats your boat. I'm okay with just the regular planks. I just want to be as explosive as possible in all the movements that I'm going to be. I ain't ever going to be sitting in the ring or anything, doing little toe touches or anything like that. So not my cup of tea. But those are what I would incorporate on, on when, you know, throwing the planks on an ab day, the front squats on the on the, the zercher squats on the squat day or leg day, and, and the hip thrust on leg day as well. And you will be golden, my man. Steven, it's big daddy to you, bitch. Always got a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Good to see all of you. Thank you for joining me, guys. Yes, we will be looking. Let's see. How, do, how did I make the mod? No, I can only block... I, I'm the way I modded Ricky before was on the live when the video was going live and he was in the live chat uh, prior to the video or during the video and it gave me the option. It doesn't give me the option on here. So I don't know how else I, I'll check on YouTube though, Chris, on that. I'm all for having a great team of mods. We need them because sometimes those chat rooms come in, come in together. You know, we got to be the Rybackers. We have to be prepared. I'm on the front of the line just getting slaughtered sometimes. Ricky's over there polishing up his fake gold chain, watching porn, doing whatever Ricky does. 
And then, you know, sometimes he misses a few of the bad ones, but so it wouldn't hurt having a, a team. But Ricky is in charge, though. I've I've dubbed R Ricky in charge. I, I like Ricky a lot. You're very welcome. Thank you for ordering. I, what are your thoughts on lizard people? I'm not too familiar with lizard people. I, I feel like I've heard that term. Ricky, double double dipping today, double duty for Ricky, doing Twitch and YouTube. Thank you. Nobody sees the videos on Twitch. I'm non-existent on there. There's like three people. And that's counting you, Ricky. And Man of Steel logs in just to give me both credits. Why are there always people asking about their height? Guys, I, there's nothing I can do for you for your height. Milk, I don't think is – milk is probably the worst source of, of, of getting your calcium with the dairy and the inflammation. I would take a whole food calcium and throw some uh, – is kale – I think it's kale, parsley, I know has some calcium. I got it off the top of my head, but uh, look into the – our Pinterest has everything. Ryback's Feed Me More Nutrition. Our Pinterest is finally growing. I got a lot of valuable information on there. Me and my team, that is, uh, I have a fantastic uh, little group of people that work with me. And uh, I'm very thankful for They help me with all of this because I'm, uh, I'm wearing many hats. Ah, uh, thank you for following me on Twitch, man. I'm not too, uh, you know, I don't do a lot over there anymore, but I did enjoy it for the time that I was on. Just the video games. I got it all set up up there, but I use my PS4 for ordering the UFC fights pretty much. Good question. Um, yeet Fleet, yeet, yeet. If you have ever implemented MMA into your cardio, which martial art was your favorite to learn? Uh, yeah, so that I was doing jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai and boxing uh, right at the end of WWE. Boxing for actually quite a few years. And, and when I got the stem cell procedures and when I was at my worst, I actually was rolling around with the, the instructor, the black belt. My shoulder was so bad. I had trouble getting off the mat just doing stuff. And that's when I realized that my, this was the beginning of kind of when I knew that my health issues were like very, very serious when I was like, I mean, it, it, it was progressively getting worse. Um, but when I started getting the stem cells, I had to stop on everything. And then my working out adjusted to doing super light weights on machines just for, for a couple of years there. And then slowly trying to come back and to where I'm like, it's been uh, just a crazy story, but as far as my favorite, I, I really liked all forms of it because they're all so unique and they're all different. Um, boxing, though, I've always loved striking. I love boxing. And Muay Thai was really cool, but I throw with my right with my kicks because my left, I got the gim the gimmick foot. That, that's what we got the stem cells in as well. If I get full function back in my left foot, I don't think it's going to be much of an issue, but I'm not in what, but with a little bit of the drop toe that I have on my big toe, I don't throw a lot of kicks uh, with that foot. I can still, but it feels weird because I, I like it's still numb in certain areas. And so I'm a pretty right dominated kicker, which is very important still. Like I got some, some stuff that I really, really like out of that. But boxing was always the most fun for me and in exerting myself, that conditioning, I would do boxing while I was with WWE. I'd go once a week with them and just, we'd go, we'd get up to nine, 10 rounds of uh, on the mitts of three minute rounds I mean, that, it's intense. <clears throat> Jiu-jitsu is a whole other animal. I love that. That was very rewarding. So I'm looking. I have a lot of goals with that stuff. Like I think it's just good to do that stuff because I enjoy it. And it's not so much um, – I'm in pro wrestling. I love pro wrestling. I love the entertainment. I love being able to – the all aspects of pro wrestling, and that's what I chose. And I think when you pick something, you just stick with it until it – like you know, and then I can do all that still, and I get the best of both worlds. So, but I love MMA. I love watch. I like watching the UFC probably more than the wrestling pay-per-views, quite honestly. And that's just, and I love wrestling. And don't get me wrong. I just, I think because I'm out of it right now, but absolutely love, love the MMA training. 
what ingredients are in the joint, the one, two, three muscle joint and tendon supplement, uh, supercissus, turmeric, uh, CM8, acetylmerostoliate, uh, naranjan, and a little bit of black pepper extract. And, uh, and it hits, literally does what it says. Turmeric is great for muscle inflammation, just inflammation in general. Supercissus uh, targets the tendons more so on that on that area. And the acetylmerostoliate, CM8, is for your joints and arthritis, which all of it can play for arthritis as well. So it is. there's not another supplement that, that gives you those ingredients at that and targeting everything like that. Um, it's a really, really cool special formula I came out with many years ago. And like I have full-blown arthritis in my shoulder, but don't have arthrit arthrit arthritic symptoms. I really, really believe diet and that supplement has helped tremendously uh, of not having just pain in regular activity. Uh, hey, Ryback, how do you deal with depression? Uh, one, again, I think diet is plays a huge role in this. I think physical activity plays a huge role in this. Um, I refuse to feel sorry for myself. I refuse to, to play a victim and be a victim. Uh, I know there's, there's all different levels to this when you're actually talking. Like, I don't give that word any power. I think it's just a word. Everybody handles and has different meanings for it, right? I think, though, with movement and activity, we solve a lot of life's problems. But there are situations and things that are going to, that can mess with us. And that is, that's not ignoring, so I'm not ignoring it because it is a real life thing. And there's people, you know, with, with death and different things, there's different levels, right? But regardless, it's again, I think it's a matter of shifting our focus and our attention onto positive things. And when we give negative things our attention, energy grows where attention, where, and where energy grows where attention goes, or, or is essentially the Tony Robbins or a, mo, or a modification of it. So whatever we focus on, that energy is going to grow, right? And it's okay. We're going to focus on negative energy at times. We've got to shift out of it, though. So I think we all, I think all people deal with sadness and depression at, at different times. It's part of life. We're born, we die. In between that time, good things can happen and bad things can happen. It's our ability and the people that do well in life have an innate ability of shifting out of the negative into the positive quicker than other people. Some people can't shift out of it at all. A lot of people can't. And that's where a lot of life's suffering can come from. When we can get our mindset right, it gives us the chance to shift out of it quicker. I really believe that, man. I've gone through, had things, and look at this: five disc fusion and shoulder replacement. Fuck the world! I'm gonna fucking overcome that. That was my attitude from the beginning. Not once did I accept, that, man. I'm done. It's a mindset. That's why I preach what I preach because it's not just the being positive. It's so many different things, and the mindset is so powerful on it. So that's where the reading and the learning and the educating and doing the work. You have to equip yourself with the with the skills necessary to overcome the bad things that happen in life. And that, that it's my opinion on it. But that that opinion has helped me greatly overcome a lot of bad shit. Very good question. Thank you. Nature going for walks, everything, man. Having a good conversation with somebody, there's so many things. Oftentimes, too, with social media, we don't have real interactions, and especially young people don't know how important interactions can truly, how beneficial those can be. Having a good phone call or going and seeing somebody, go get a coffee and have a conversation with someone for an hour can make your entire day. It's energy. And when we stay cooped up and we, we're living online, we can miss out on that greatly. Ricky, I think Ola Man Boy might need to go on a timeout. I like the name Ola Man Boy, so we'll put him on timeout. I, I honestly, 
I don't know what my what my max lifts are right now. I, I, I wish I could tell you, and I'm not training to, to max out. I could put up some very impressive numbers, though. I mean, it's a lot of that. Like, I don't I don't push myself like on deadlifts and squats to my absolute max just because I don't think it was the smartest thing to do because it doesn't. It, there's no benefit for me with what I'm doing and going into wrestling. And, and quite frankly, there's zero difference if I could squat 700 or 750 or 800 pounds or just kind of stay around 500 and, and do some reps with that or 550, you know what I'm saying? There's no difference for what I'm doing except for higher risk. So if I was training for powerlifting or to go do a meet, then absolutely essential. That needs to be the training. There's no other, there's no other things that matter. That's not my life. That's not where my money is. So I play a game of being as strong as possible and having the best endurance humanly possible. That's pro wrestling training for me. That benefits me, especially to most of the guys who are smaller now. I don't need, I mean, let's face it. There's not many, I'm not going to be wrestling guys like Big Show and Mark Henry and Kane and Great Khali. And I've already, and even them, th those guys don't weigh 750 pounds. So I'm not, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, if I was going into the thing with Yokozuna, then I might have to, to really, really up it. But that's not happening. So good job. You got me to talk about wrestling for a bit. No, I like to keep Ricky working. I like to keep Ricky working. Thank you. Day is going very good, guys. Thank you very much. Good to see all of you guys. Can you, Tim, asking, can you talk about intermittent fasting over uh, versus a conventional calorie reduced diet? So... For me, the benefits of fat, I think if you're talking strictly from a caloric standpoint, uh, there's probably very little difference in, in, in that overall in the physique over time, whether you do intermittent fasting. I think it comes down to personal preference and eating habits. I do think intermittent fasting, I think prolonged fasting, I think the benefits like prolonged fasting are more from an internal healing, uh, insulin resistance and things. It kind of balances out a lot of things in the body. Stem cell producing properties, especially deeper into it. So for me, that has always been, the, that was has been intri always intrigued me. And it does, it really challenges you and it taps into fat burning, especially on the prolonged fasting. <laughs> I think intermittent fasting is great for people that really, really struggle with eating constantly and need to get some control and reserve their eating for a certain window, which helps hopefully keep them within the caloric needs that they need to be in. Um, I don't think intermittent fasting, I think, does have some of the health benefits too, but I think it really, you get into those more on the prolonged fasting. Um but I think I think fasting is very beneficial. I just think people got to be careful not to go too extreme with it and make sure you get your calories in when you're eating, which sometimes if you do too short of a window, and I, I learned this the hard way, doing 20-hour intermittent fasting for quite a period, my metabolism slowed down because I wasn't getting enough calories in that four-hour window because I couldn't eat the amount of food that I needed to eat. And I, I'd eat a huge meal, and I still needed to eat another like two or 3,000 calories. And I'm like, I'm not hungry. And I wouldn't end up, yeah, I would eat something, I'd eat some like a protein shake and like some air pop popcorn, but I, my calories were coming in way too low. And then eventually it, what happens, it was just too far of a drop. <clears throat> so I think you got to be very good with your calories on that if you are going on a more of the extreme end on the fast. But I think people that do like the 12 hour, 16 hour, as long as they're getting their food in, I, I think, I think it's great. It comes down to personal preference, though, Tim, and what you're going to stick with, I think. And if you can just eat and not worry about it, you know, and you're just fasting when you're sleeping at night, 
That's fine. I think, but I would look into throwing a prolonged fasting a week, every week or two, just to see how long you can go. And, and, and I really think there's a lot of, as long as there's no underlying health issues, I think, it, I think it's, it's a great thing for, for people to, to, to look into. It's helped me a lot and it's a real mental, it mentally makes you a lot stronger. When you take away food and water and the things that we use for comfort, you're forced to kind of look within and make use of your time in, in ways that are, it's more challenging. It's definitely when dry fasting is, is, is I find to be extremely challenging, which is why I think I'm, I, I really like it. All right, we're going to have to measure tie-dye guy. Talking about measuring his, his willy. Garrett, yeah, the Wake Up Unlimited Energy is available. That's our that's our pre workout energy formula, calorie free, sweet with stevia and monk fruit, no artificial sweeteners or colors. The energy, it's crash free, lasts for hours upon hours. Especially if you do the full scoop, it comes in pink lemonade, mango candy, and green apple on those. Uh, so you can check those out. Those are on the site. We, if you click on shop now or we have the products or we have stacks with other things as well. We have 13 supplements now, I believe. <clears throat> Actually, they're sending me, I just talked to the, um, with my manufacturer, with my with the guy that helps me with my flavor profiling. He just sent out today the strawberry banana finish at BCAA for me to try and the blueberry icy finish at BCAA. So uh, we're going to be hopefully whatever flavors the best between those. I'm going to come out with next for the BCAA to give us three flavors on the BCAA because the BCAA sell really, really good for us. And I think that's something I need. It, the shell shock, the wake up, the BCAA is the test booster. Those, I mean, just fly. Those are constantly, the proteins fly. Everything that goes, but those are really, those really, really go. <clears throat> so I need to make sure I have some, some more flavors for that stuff. And then uh, we're going to get the grape out for Pumplex City as well. Yeah, good question, Roger. I feel like a lot of – I don't know what the deal is. Now, the, the longer I, I go vegan have been vegan and stay vegan, I, I kind of laugh at now how – and I don't want to say, like, people that – like, those meat eaters. Like, But I feel like sometimes these things are blown up way worse than they are. Um B12 is not an issue at all. My B12 came back too high. My first test being on the vegan diet months ago, and I'm actually going for more blood work in the next week or two. Um, I do take the oral dropper once a day, and it's sweetened with stevia. Um, but the Wake Up Unlimited Energy has a mega dose of B12. Now, the B12 taken orally like that isn't absorbed. That's why we use so much of it, because some of it is wasted out of the body you it's not absorbed nearly as good as it is through the liquid and they take it sublingually and the injections are even better but i'm not doing that and uh and like I, I don't need to my levels were too high so i actually had to cut back on on the amount that i was taking uh even though i don't think there's really just have more energy but uh which explains so much but the uh the wake up limited energy is chocked full of it I mean, it has a ton of the vitamin B12 in it, but I, I eat such a diverse diet as well uh, that I'm getting all my, 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 um, my B12 and my B vitamins, my micronutrients. And I do take, I take a whole food multivitamin as well. Another important thing too, is to space that stuff out about 90 minutes, 60 to 90 minutes, uh, from caffeine consumption helps because that blocks the absorption of those ingredients. And I take a whole food iron supplement as well. My levels all come back. Perfect. So well within normal range. Uh, no. So being a vegetarian is you, you consume dairy uh, and, and, and things like milk, cheese and things of that nature. And it's in a lot of the condiments and a lot of the different things. Full vegan is no, no animal products whatsoever at all. And there's different levels 
to all of it. Like I never knew the difference between vegan and vegetarian. I'm like, why do they got two different names for the same thing? I never even looked into it because I was just like, I'm never going to be that. And here we are in 2021. And it's honestly the best thing ever. Ricky, let's hit Daniel with a block. Uh, hey, Daniel, it was nice knowing you, pal. Ricky, already, you better not have put him in timeout. Block that son of a bitch. The chat room has entered. Ricky, you're a little busy now. Yes, if you're 16, you absolutely could take protein. You're taking it. Uh, you, you've been taking it since birth, since been since you've been on the nipple, my man. You've been consuming the protein. Go at it. No issues with this protein. Hello, hello. Good to see all of you, Mr. Bean in the house. Mr. Bean, good to see you. Corey, yeah, so creatine, I started in high school. I didn't start it until 17-ish. So you're right around that age. I think if you're training, it's very beneficial. It's in the food you eat. It's not like you're, you're taking a foreign product or anything. And it really, really does help with performance and strength. I remember the, the first time in high school after getting on, I was taking from this brand. Uh, I was taking the Muscle Tech Cell Tech. And uh, that was the big thing when I was growing up. And they had all the ads in the in the magazines before online was a, was a thing. And you would like see all like, and they, it was like, oh my God, this creatine. My strength though jumped up and they used to put all this sugar in it and just chugging all this sugar with the creatine. But I was at my, I benched 315 really quickly after that and just kept going up from there. So I, I love it. I love it. Badger man, thank you very much. I try to just give back and help as much as possible. I sell all the time, but I sell good for good. But I, I try to just give information that things that have helped me. I don't have all the answers to everything. I don't know everything, but I feel like I'm constantly trying to learn and apply things. And I feel like I can hopefully help a few people, you know, take the right first steps to, to getting everything going. Yes, I used to take the Jacked as well. The 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 Jack was it Jacked or Jack 3D? I don't know what the the uh, that stuff was. Everybody when I was in Florida Championship Wrestling had their own tub of that, and that stuff was a heart attack waiting to happen. They were using that ingredient that's banned. Stuff was like cocaine, even though I've never done cocaine. But from the people that have, they told me it was the energy was was very similar. That stuff was just poison. Artificial sweeteners, everything. I'll put up my wake up limited energy to that stuff all day long, and it doesn't have any of the shit in it. Tony, follow my Pinterest. Great question. Uh, how do you keep muscle with no protein? Uh, meat's one of the basics, right? Um, no. So I'm, I'm cooking a, a full vegan performance meal in my kitchen right now that is low carb and has over 100 grams of protein in it. I think oftentimes when people hear the word vegan, they think of just vegetables. And ve vegetables by themselves, even though like, like size-wise, quantity-wise, you'd have to eat way more to get the protein you would in an in, in animal product. But those are you just consuming for the micronutrients. You're not, and those are great to consume to keep you full if you want to eat more stuff. I cook with kale, parsley, cilantro, green beans, mushrooms, all these things. There's all these, not, they're not, there's foods that are on this planet that aren't meat. Seitan, 23 grams of protein per serving, just straight protein. It's not meat, it's nothing. It's just a pot. It's what a lot of the vegan places use the restaurants to get all the protein in their food. Has a lot of it has a meat like texture when it's cooked. Uh, tofu, soy, uh, hemp heart, which is by the way great for you. It's a, it's a superfood, no estrogen issues on it whatsoever. And I've had blood work, 
it, 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 a lot of the stuff that's been put out on that is all from the meat industry. Um, but even with that, you can take that out. Even you got nutritional yeast, just pr pure protein. Sprinkle that. It's like a cheese, a powder. Just put it on the food. Complete protein. You got hemp hearts. You got some chia seeds. You could throw some flax seeds in there. Uh, you got like I like to do like in the, my lunch today was uh, organic pinto beans. There's like 40 something grams of carbs, tons of fiber in it, uh, tons of protein, along with um, this stuff that a lot of the plant based meats, they use the, the plant ingredients, the pea protein, pea protein is another one. My I so hungry plant protein, I could do an 80 gram shake going to bed every night with that bam, 80 grams right there. I consume over 300 grams every day. My macros are better than they've ever been. My micronutrients are higher than they've ever been. So you got to learn the foods and we got stuff on my pinterest ryback's feed me more nutrition all these foods that you never would even think is we were so when you when we, we eat just meat and chicken and fish we think that's like the primary staple of foods couldn't be any further from the truth and i found that out and i i ate more of it than anybody and i don't miss it now at all being like where i'm at and feeling how good in your body it's crazy when you when you see the shift in your energy and your mood and all this other stuff, your mindset, it's uh, you know. But meat is one isn't one of the staples that that industry sold us on that many 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 years ago. Not saying we can't eat meat, we were never meant to eat it at the at the amounts we are and under the conditions we are. My opinion. Feedmemore.com. Yeah, Justin, good. Where did Justin go? So Justin asked, do you think there should be a limit on the intake of, of I can't see it, it moved off the screen, of how much protein you should consume from like powders versus food? Yeah, I think always, it's always best to consume real food. But I think, and I say that from the standpoint of making sure you're getting the vitamins and minerals and the micronutrients that we need, right? Adding in like our protein powder we're coming out with has a great amount of iron and some and some good, good stuff in it, right? But I use it once a day to get another 80 grams of protein and 100 grams of protein, whatever it is, to get my protein numbers up for my goals and what I'm doing to build muscle. And that I'm not, but there are some people that go crazy and they're like, I'm doing a shake every meal. That's fine if you want to do a shake every meal, right, to, and to supplement to get a little extra protein. Just make sure you're consuming some other stuff with it, right? But I, I think it's better to, to have a more diverse diet because when you do have a more diverse diet, you ensure – because it's really hard to, like, know how what vitamins and minerals you're getting to track all that. So when you do a very diverse diet and keep your macros in check through that, you ensure that you're getting the stuff, the good stuff that you need to thrive and survive at the highest level, I feel. I think you just need to try other things. and it, it, It's not plant-based. It's They use plant-based meat to give people an idea. It's all marketing, right? What else do you call it if you don't call it plant-based meat? But I think there's so many different brands Start looking around. No Evil has a, pol has a barbecue pork and chicken that is amazing. And, and But then there's the Beyond Meat. There's the Impossible Burgers. Like the uh, Beyond Sausages, the hot Italian sausages, blow your balls off. I think that stuff is as good as it gets. Um, and if you don't have balls, I apologize. Um, but it's – look into it. There's a lot of options out there. They got like Vegas has a vegan market. I got to go to there. They have like a whole store of all these great stuff. Now, the less processed stuff you eat, the better. But as far as those meats are concerned, I think they're absolutely, for me, a must on me really getting the protein and, and enjoying the diet. And they're made with all plant ingredients at the end of the day. So I would say look around, though, and try to find something that you do like. All right, guys, I got I can smell my food. I got to wrap up here, but we're doing the weekend sale. Oh, this is available till Sunday, Sunday, midnight Pacific. <laughs> All you got to do, go to feedmemore.com, spend $75 or more prior to shipping, giving you a free gym bag. 
shaker bottle, workout towel, and face mask with your orders, guys. All you got to do is go to the, under the weight belts and apparel, select the weight, uh, the gym bag, shaker bottle, and workout towel. Select your color on the workout towel, white or yellow. Use uh, discount code free bundle, free bundle at checkout. And the gym bag, shaker bottle, and, and workout towel are free. The mask pops up on a pop up. So have your pop ups open and you can select to click, get the, the white face mask for free as well. A $75 value, yours free from now until this weekend. So take advantage if you've been wanting to order, you get the goodies with it. We got more stuff coming in. I've got uh, lifting straps uh, with the Feed Me More Nutrition logo on it, uh, workout gloves. We got socks, ankle socks with the Feed Me More Nutrition logo being done. Doing a lot of little cool little things to keep doing more giveaways and things for you guys and to continue to, to push the brand and the hungry mindset. Uh, in all your posts, if anything, hashtag hungry, hashtag Feed Me More Nutrition. We're really, really, we're gaining a lot of uh, momentum here. And I really believe this is uh, this is the future of, of supplementation with where we're going and giving people nothing but value in, in quality products um, where everybody wins. So thank you very much as always for joining me. And I look forward to, to seeing you guys again uh, Monday uh, next week. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Stay hungry. Feed me more.